<laughs> All right, All right, everyone. So today we have a freaking awesome and special guest. He is Ramian and he is the freaking jacked vegan. And I wanted to have Ramian on, on a call on an interview because he's been freaking crushing the program. I mean, I'll, here are the results. You can see for yourself. You can see the before and how he looks now. I want to look like him because he's looking so freaking awesome. So Ramian, welcome, my man. Thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you. That that was really, really nice of you to say. I, um, it's a team, it's a team effort. I haven't done this all by myself, so I don't want to take too much credit. Oh man, I'll give you all the credit. We'll give you the plan. You execute it, and then when you execute, you get results. But you're the one putting in the effort. So, I mean, you're like the perfect client, man. So I'm really, really excited to have this chat with you. Tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Um, where do you live? Yeah, yeah. So I live in Baltimore, Maryland, in the United States. I've been here for about five years lived on the East Coast most of my life. I'm a contractor assigned to work at NASA. So I help administer training for engineers and systems engineers at NASA centers. It mostly means a lot of times I'm writing reports or uh, reviewing courses, evaluating courses that have been administered. So a lot of paperwork and dealing with people, but um, I really like it. I've been doing it for about 11, going on 11 years. Wow, you've been in NASA for 11 years, that's freaking awesome, man. I, I always wanted to have a, a, a client in NASA, man. That's so freaking exciting. And uh, how old are you, man? I just turned, well, not just anymore, uh, 50. It feels weird because like this, I feel everyone should get another birthday next year for the one they missed this year with the whole pandemic stuff because no one got to celebrate the way they wanted to. So in September, I turned 50. Dude, and, and you certainly don't look 50. I mean, most you look like you're, you look better than most 25 year olds on earth. So <laughs> I'll awesome, take that. Man. I'll take that. Thank you. Yeah, cool. So so tell me a little about, you know, your days. Like how, mo how much time do you spend working? Probably more than I should. Um, I'll say typically I spend about 10 hours working. A lot of that is sitting right here at this desk. I t work at NASA full time or and then in the evenings, some semesters I do teaching as well. So it could be a day where I'm nine to five-ing for NASA and then, you know, five to nine or so uh, doing teaching work as well. So they, they can be really long days sometimes. Wow. So that's like some days you go for 14 hours straight? Some days, not, those are tough ones. Uh, usually that would be no more than once or one or two days like that a week, but yeah, it, it does happen every now and then. Wow, man. And, and well, tell us a little bit, you know, you joined the program. What were the things that you were struggling with before joining Jack Vegans when it comes to your nutrition, your fitness, your health? Yeah, for, so I mean, is, is everything a good answer? Because, uh, you know, I struggled with uh, what is reasonable advice to follow. Because if you search for vegan, you get a thousand things and you st I didn't, just didn't know who to listen to. And then I also knew that I couldn't do it by myself. I don't have a, a, a natural support group of other vegans just walking around in my neighborhood. So having people who I could talk to about it or who I could ask questions or who were in the same boat as me and I could learn from them, like that... That's the other thing I knew I really wanted. I wanted some sort of community. So I wanted like good information from people who knew what they were talking about and some sort of community where I could get some support to do it because I knew I couldn't do it by myself. And, and then I'm, I'm glad that you point that out. Like what made you realize that you were not able to do it on your own? Yeah, yeah. Just, I could, I, I don't know. I, I'd been trying for a while to really change the way that I eat. I've been, uh, I'll say, let's say, two or three years been a lot more mindful about what I've been eating ever since I saw it was a document of uh, forks over knives. Yeah. Um, but just figuring out how to make that happen, like how to even things like meal plan. Like I, I grew up never having to really do that. I just sort of ate what I wanted when I wanted and didn't put a lot of thought into it or, or plan out what I was going to do for a whole week or even for a whole day. So I, I didn't know what I didn't know. And I didn't have any structure to get me started. Um, so I think I sort of figured it out. I got as far as I could be. A, um, I was uh, pretty much a pescatarian for about a year just before mm -hmm. I went vegan. And I could sort of manage that because it didn't require a whole lot of forethought. You know, I knew I could go to any, if I went out, that I wasn't going to have any issues finding something to eat. Or yeah. if I was going to be at home, I could whip something up pretty quickly. But yeah, it was, I just couldn't figure out how to get all the cylinders to fire so that I could actually get some results um, in terms of the way that I felt. Yeah, and, 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 and that's a great realization to come to because that's that's what I tell most people. Like a lot of things, the big things, it's really hard to accomplish on your own. And if you think about it, the really big people, the famous people, they all have coaches. 
Um, you think about the best athletes in the world, um, MMA, NBA, soccer, football, everyone has a coach that's directing them, telling them what to do, showing, showing the person the way to do things and correcting them along the way. So you joined Jack Vegans and then what what's happened since? Okay, so like the big thing is, well, a whole bunch of things happened, but in terms of like results, I went from, uh, I know I lost 15 pounds um, pre, a lot easier than I thought I would uh, since joining. But I will say the two other things happened that really were bit, even bigger to me than just the way that I, I uh, the changes in the way that I looked. And one is I started noticing and developing a different relationship with food. I learned that like when I get stressed out, you know, I would emotionally eat. But what I yeah. realized all I really wanted was whenever I get stressed, I want to, I want crunchy things. I want to break something essentially, I guess. And so I was eating chips all the time or crackers. And so I just learned, oh, well, if I get a good apple, like that satisfies the same need. So I really learned all these little things about my relationship with food and change it in a way that's a lot more healthier for me in the long run. Uh, um, and the other thing I noticed is just because uh, I've been lifting for in the last year or so, my recovery time increased or decreased significantly. Like I was just able to do more work in the gym a lot easier after I made about, a, I'll say maybe four, four or five weeks after I made the switch to vegan. I just remember I used to do leg day. And then at some point during the day, I take a nap. Like I could just could not function for the, the whole day. Then all of a sudden, not only was I getting PRs on leg day, but like I was just, I could, oh, leg day, ho-ho, you know, that's so hard, <laughs> da, 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 da. go back to work. Um, it was, it was it's, it's been really awesome seeing those changes in my life, even just in the, I don't know how long has it been, four months, five months, four months? I, I think yeah. it's been four months. I got to go back and double check. But yeah, man. And you also that left to your double your body weight for reps, right? I did. Yeah. For, yeah. For, uh, I did a lot more than I thought I could do. Um, that, yeah, that was pretty amazing. That was a, that was a big day for me. That's freaking awesome, man. Thank you for sharing that. So how, how'd you feel going into the, into the call? Cause a lot of people told me that they feel really nervous that they kind of apprehensive when they're going to get with us on the phone. How'd you feel going into the call? You mean that very, very first call? Yeah. When you signed up. Yeah. Yeah. I was nervous because I thought, okay, well, I grew up learning to pass the test. You know, you had to study to pass the test. And I just know what the test was. If you're going to ask me questions about, I don't know, if you're going to ask me to do math or to spell things or like what vegetable grows in Peru, I, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. So I was really nervous about that part. So I should, if I could, if I could go back in time and give myself any advice, I would just say, relax, this is going to be a fun conversation. And that's what it really was. It was a back and forth conversation as opposed to a, an interview, which is what I had in my head before the first call actually happened. Nice, man. Well, listen, I'm, I'm freaking excited about the results you've gotten. And we're, we're convincing Raymond to join us for a, a physique competition because he looks freaking awesome. He's going to crush everyone. Uh, so that's happening. Uh, we got one that we saw, we got our eyes set up for one, but we'll talk more about that later. Um, so yeah, man, I mean, I'm, I'm freaking excited about the results. I'm super grateful to be able to serve you and to, you know, be able to help you as a client. And is there anything else you'd like to say to anyone that's watching the video that's, you know, any advice, any last words, anything else? Yeah. Yeah. So if I, if I could give my, if I could, you know, I'm making this time machine to go back and give myself advice, but if I could give myself one more piece of advice, I would say to people, like, you don't have to do everything perfectly the first time or all at one time. Like, I thought the coaching and the mindset call were really, really helpful. And at first I was beating myself up because I couldn't do, I couldn't get all of my calories and all my proteins and do the AM routine and do the walking all at once. And then what I really appreciated was the coach helping me just focus on what's the one thing today you want to do. And what started happening is I would get one thing down and then I get two things down and then I get three things down. So like the big thing I like to tell people is you don't have to um, bat a thousand on like the very first season. Like, like give yourself a break every day. Just do a little bit more than you did the day before and you'll be okay. Just stick with the program. Just trust the coaches and you're going to be all right. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to keep getting better. Dude, that, that's freaking awesome, man. So again, thank you for, for the advice. Thank you for the words. Thank you for making the time to be here. And yeah, man, um, I always uh, I want to look like you when I'm 50, man. So that, <laughs> that's, that's going to be in my, in my goals. Well, I really everyone. appreciate you. Thank you so much. Dude, thank you so much. Okay. All right. If you saw that video and you're interested in getting similar results, then 
I'm gonna hook you up with a free consultation. All you gotta do is click on the link below. You're gonna fill out a quick questionnaire telling me and my coaches the things you wanna accomplish, the things that you are struggling with, and then you can book a free consultation call with either myself or one of my expert coaches. We'll get on the phone with you, we'll go over your goals, your struggles, and tell you the things that you need to do to accomplish your goals. So again, you can click on the link, book the call, fill out the questionnaire, it takes about five minutes to do everything, and I'll see you over the phone. Take care, Julian here, signing off.